Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I am back with some more To The Moon. So, I think we're just looking around a bit. What's out here? Now is this, I think this is a different, yeah, this is obviously a different house than the big one, because it's not built yet. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits? Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River. She was asking him to describe the rabbit before, wasn't she? So, what is the significance of this rabbit? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some in inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Hmm. Let's see. Long strands of orange hair. What about? Oop. Okay. So this is the day she started it, huh? Interesting. Oh, there's an arrow pointing out the door. So maybe we have to go out for more. Old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it would be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get this through its door. Mmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'll probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. What a bunch of nerds. I love it. It's Doctor Who. Uh, oh, I think I know or I think I know where this is going. There we go. Got everything. What's that sound? Johnny's heart meter seems to be doing fine. Okay, the memento. Okay. Three moves. Let's see. I think I've got it. Yeah, I do. Excellent. Okay. And let's go. Where are we now? Okay. Midway through his, like, adulthood, middle age, maybe? Can't do anything with that. Oh, we need to go up to the house. 
Well, the house isn't even probably there yet because it hasn't been built. Maybe we will find out why River likes Anya so much. The lighthouse. It's a really pretty name, Anya. Let's see. It's like a long and winding road to get up here. Okay. Is this... This is where the house... Yeah, I thought so. House that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Let's see. That note. Uh, something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. No, they were definitely not scared of heights. They liked this cliff in the lighthouse. Okay. Huh. Okay, let's go up. This is the way to the lighthouse. It's just all log bridges. They must have built themselves. Oh, the light's on. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Is she mad? What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. I think I switched the voices for that. Okay. Ah, there's our memento. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Jeez, not everything's about you, Neil. Maybe she likes her hair short. Calm down. <laughs> Why did I... I... Okay, that was weird. I was hitting down, but it kept sending me back up the log. I assume there's something... Oh. Wow, I'm wandering around like an idiot looking for for more things to get bubbles, and I already have all the bubbles. No wonder it kept sending me back. <sighs> you would think that uh, I wouldn't have this much trouble with this game. Okay. Let me look at the backpack. I'm so confused what is happening. Okay. There we go. I'm stuck. No. Okay, we go up there. Feel like maybe my game glitched. Yeah, okay. Um I'll be right back.
and then into the thing. We are back. Nice. Okay. Now, how did I get that one? Okay, sorry about that. My game uh, kind of glitched and I couldn't get, it wouldn't let me shoot the backpack. So, there we go. Let's prepare this memento. Yep. What? Dropping off to drop some stuff off for you. Okay, you screwed up my entire recording, but well, thank I'm you. Trying to call you my phone is downstairs because yeah. I'm recording. <laughs> okay, so the ideal for this is four, and this one actually looks relatively easy to figure out. There we go. It's the ones with the uh, diagonals that always screw me up. Let's see. Activate. We're still not moving very far. Just a little bit at a time. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really... there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. It's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed with it when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River? She never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Wonder, I bet she's autistic, because from what I've seen, that seems to be... Like, it seems to line up. I don't know if they'll say or not. Find out. Huh. I've never met a woman with it before. And technically, you still haven't met one. 
This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Not sticking around, I guess. What's here? Are we at a... Oh, we're at a library. My books? What is Johnny doing? The world would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered faces more. Anything new today? No. What are you reading there? The Emperor's new clothes. That was in their house. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. Ah, uh, me too. Right on, Johnny. The weird series. <laughs> I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? Yeah, come on. They can be cute. They're comforting. See? I totally agree. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. Ooh. Oh, there's lots of Johnnies. What about this one? What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um... Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been like 12 years since I read those books. Is he a... Lion? I feel like maybe because there's five spaces, I'm supposed to have five letters. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Oh, do I have to go find out what animorph, like what his morph is? I don't remember. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River. Um. Man, I don't remember. Tobias Hawk, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra, Cassie Wolf. Why? Cobra. I was way off with the lion thing. Wow. You could have just Googled it. Well, I'm playing a game right now, River, and I'm not Googling it. Okay, so he is. Where's the seat? A cobra. See, it is five letters. Well, I tried. Oh yeah, a cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. I still haven't found the memento, either. Maybe it's the backpack again? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we did that. So I'm gonna guess the backpack then, since I don't really see anything else personally. Um, can I even? Oh, yeah, I can. Or not the backpack. Okay. Um. Oh, is it that book? Is that the book that they're buying? Yeah, it is. There we go. Memento detected. So, 
let's go do that. Oh man, um, the diagonals, I hate the diagonals. Okay, so the ideal is five. And we've got a four by five grid, um, and that'll do straight up here. Which might actually be what I want to do. Yes, it is. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so on to the next memory. Man, Animorphs books, like, the covers were so weird with the people morphing into the animals. I guess there was, like, a TV show, because I saw it on Netflix, and I've never actually watched it. And I don't think I want to, because it would be odd. Anyway. Aw, oh, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jobs for the insecure. Okay. So there's the book. Who's this? I can't talk to you. That's kind of cool, though, that, like, some of these people have faces and some do not. It's kind of like, remember some of them, but not all of them. Although I can't actually seem to talk to any of them. Um, and Johnny and River don't seem to be in the immediate area, although there's a jar of pickled olives. Okay, so that probably means they are off on their own somewhere. So I'm going to follow this path and see where it takes me. And that is quite a cliff. Oh, they're up at the lighthouse. Oh, she looks pretty. Okay, can I actually talk to any of them? No? Can I go in the lighthouse? Oh, yeah, I can. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. Oh, they just got married? No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? The lighthouse? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Oh, she looks so pretty. What are you two doing in that red house at night with no one else around? Oh, yep. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, they're dancing in the lighthouse. That's so cute. Wow. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh no, that's just like me every time I dance, ever. I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. 
Aww, that's sweet. Oh, they danced like all night? That's so cute. Oh, and what a pretty sunrise. Such a beautiful game, like... You know, I think it's like an RPG Maker game, but it's so pretty. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. Yes. <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Aww, so cute. And here we are, back. Ack, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what do you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I mean both fluids and solids. It's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off, too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? Really, Eva? Yeah, that's kind of a downer. You know, maybe it ended badly, but it was good for a while. Like, they're happy now. They danced in the lighthouse all night. Like, I bet that was a great memory for the two of them. Okay. Ooh, here we go. I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Ack, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those, anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Okay. I need... One more moment. Maybe from... His mother? We also still need a memento. So proud of Joey. What about you? No. Uh, what can we? Are we supposed to? Okay. How do I get where I want to go? That way. Like, oh yeah, we are supposed to go down this way. Okay. I didn't see any mementos up there, so... Oh no, oh. Can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? I think this was the source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Oh, is the rabbit our memento? Oh, that's grim. Well...
Okay. Let's do this. Three. So, yeah, this is a pretty easy one, too. Two, three. So, except for that one that I really messed up, I've been doing pretty good. Activate the dead rabbit. <laughs> You know it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Oh, that's so strange. A little bit later, we like teens, young adults here. Poor thing, what's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. It smells like a farm and road kill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Okay, so I think we're going to end it there for now. Uh, yeah, still no idea what's up with the moon, but definitely learning some more about River and her illness. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!